Hi friends, now we are going to discuss about how we can find a particular configuration items that is uh, residing in a transport that has been released or it's in not released status. Okay, the first thing we have to do is we go to SC03 and in this example, we'll try to know all the transport that is related with um, uh, the attribute of system messages. And here, first thing we went to SC03, we click on find objects and here this is the conventional way of getting and we will show another uh, way where we can get all this information also. So we go here, we click on this F4 help, pretty easy. And then we have to know the exact IMG path, okay. So we have to go to, suppose I go to materials management and <clears throat> here I will just select this one. So uh, here I want to get the environmental information. So I'll check this environmental data where I probably de declare defined attributes of system messages. That's the first one I'll take, okay. And then uh, if you notice here, I can select modifiable also. I'll select modifiable. And suppose I want to find multiple. So I can get multiple tasks also. So if I want, suppose, something related with invoices also. So I'll go by invoices. I'll go the same path. I'll go to materials management here. I'll go to logistic invoice verification. <clears throat> and here, I'll select this one and we'll click the green, green arrow. Okay. And here, I will execute. Okay. And we will just click on this and here we have all this information. So you can see this, this is the place where it's getting stored. So this is the one way where you can find it through SC03. There's another way you can find it. Okay, so what we can do is we have to know which is the table we find. Okay, so in order to know that, so first I'm running out of session. So let me first go to <coughs> SE. Let me go to SC16, okay, uh, let me go to SC16, and the table will be E071, but before that, I need to know, suppose I want to see the, the attributes, yes, so I will put this, I will put here so if you remember I did the system messages here and if I click on this and here I need to know the table name okay. so the table name would be something so yeah, suppose I click on this and here I know this is the table name suppose 160 M okay. so what I can do is I'll go here in this place and put this object name and here you have a bunch of stuff here so I don't want to see this this is because this is standard so what I will do is I'll do this if it and here if you notice this is the place where you can see these are the configurations so here you can see all these entries that are used so you can find all these so now the SAP one, so probably the activity we want to store. So what we have to do is we go to the activity and we will click not equal to, okay. And then we'll run this. And these are all the, all the, all the transpose that is there. That we can use. Okay? So from here you can get this entries also. Another way is if you go to, uh, we can do another thing. So here there was T100C. So I can do copy this, this is the table, okay, and I go here and I populate this and I execute and probably I have to do star, okay, and from here also I can get all the information. So this is another way you can get it. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and if you like it, share and subscribe to it and have a great day.